Hello friends, this is Rahul here. Today I am coming with one new video where I show you how to use Redis con Redis configuration or we can say Redis server for uh, cache or we can say temporary storage. Okay, so why we use it once? Let's understand it. Its requirement in our projects when uh, uh, we store some data in the database and then fetch it, uh, it's not a big issue. Okay, but uh, when one data is uh, required so many times uh, repeatedly in every time when we open the application, then it should uh, not uh, too good to retrieve data from database and uh, show on the uh, screen. Okay. So what we can there use? We can use the uh, one server called Redis server with cache. Here we can implement cache in our application or project where we can show um, that uh, the data comes from the uh, our cache memory, not from the database. Okay. So what is Redis? Redis is a NoSQL. Uh, we can say database where uh, it's a uh, use in memory to store the data and uh, uh, let's uh, i show you one thing that uh, sorry what is ready okay so here you can see what is ready that this is no sql database management software Okay, in memory RAM it is used. Okay, so and uh, high availability, uh, we can access data uh, very frequently and very efficiently in a few time. And uh, this is okay. So how we can use this in our project? How to connect with Redis server? How to connect? What are the configuration we have to write? Okay, so now I show you. Okay, so let's see. There is a first of all, I want to show you how to start Redis. So you have to download first Redis server from Google and then you have to extract it and then you find it. Uh, Redis. Okay, in Redis folder, this all files you have to got. But here two files is very important. One is Redis server and one is client. I want to start my Redis server. So I click it. So this is my Redis server is started. And uh, this is started on port number 6379. Okay. And uh, I want to check is any connection established or not. So when we send the ping command, then it send the pong command. Okay. Which means this connected to the Redis server. Okay. Now let's in real world project the this Redis server is run on the uh, company server or any another server. Okay. So we no need to take ab uh, care about it. Okay. Just it uh, now I use for your proper understanding. Now here is our start class and uh, here is our entity book and uh, here is our configuration class where I can I have done all configuration for uh, this server which are required okay and uh, here is controller class I uh, write this controller class to communicate with web server so here is not uh, I used any configuration with database uh, example MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, no any no any databases I have used. I was only used this server and this configuration class. Okay. And uh, here I used this controller. I want this controller to add data. I can get the data by using ID. I can get all data. Uh, this all data comes from uh, uh, we can say temporary storage. Um, from cache which is helpful by Redis server okay so let me go to um, postman and uh, 
uh, see there is a uh, first of all we have to run it okay so when it successfully runs uh, then we go to postman and uh, we test the api so yeah i think oh it's turned on already on the port number 8080 that's why terminate it and then again run it okay so this is run on 8080 port number so when i go to postman and then i skip and get so there is no any data available but uh, here uh, command is there so i want to minimize it now i want to add some records post body and then here is book id Here is book name. Here is book size. Okay. When I send its book edit successfully, I want again one data. Let's see. After send, it edit successfully. When you want to get, let's get. Let's get. Yeah, it come. it's not coming from any databases it's coming from uh, cache okay so we no need to connect to database so many times because it's very expensive expensive to uh, get records so many times from databases and stored see how is pretty okay so this is the beauty of Redis server, which is used in our project so many times. Okay, so this is all about uh, Redis Cafe implementation. Our next projects on config server and what is the config server? What is so many things in this? We see in next video. Thank you. Bye bye.